gamers so as you guys can see i am huge but i wasn't always like this you know i'm not born like this then i started doing some workouts bam i got bigger and recently i started logging my exercises like basically following how much weight i pulled or like how much uh, repetitions i got in what's my personal bets what should i start with in the next exercise blah 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 that kind of stuff and it even helped me more and got me bigger but recently sadly i hurt my shoulder and because of that i wasn't able to do uh, upper body for a while and even now i can't do chest sadly <laughs> but yeah off time from the gym i imagined about going to the gym you know <laughs> and i made my notion page for exercise much better i improved on it and i basically made dare i say the best exercise workout tracker whatever you want to say in the universe this will basically become your coach this is a notion coach 101 because it gives you a score for your session for your exercises so you can somewhat compare your sessions uh, with the previous sessions or you can somewhat compare your exercise with with a previous exercise you did okay that's amazing but not only that it also keeps track of your personal best automatically and it also gives you a suggestion for an exercise so for example let's say you're gonna do a bench it suggests you like yeah i would suggest you to start with this weight which is amazing which is really useful now you can use my notion page and as it is without the automatical stuff it's still good you can log your exercises you can check what is what did you do in your previous exercise and then look on depending on that but if you decide to set up the automatic like updating for your scoring for pe and for the suggestion basically the notion coach i call it the notion coach amazing right if you want to set up the notion coach you need a server let's get an overview of how to set up the notion coach basically server okay you need to catch a server so i catched one in the wild okay nice after that you can yoink my code in github and just give it to your server now don't forget to give him the keys to notion and some uh, if you're going to use the multi-currency one also give him the multi-currency ones too actually you should give him regardless or you need to change the code but and then basically tell the server to run the code every one hour so you need to do those no, i'm you sorry need to run every hour okay go if you actually want to set it up in the github page there's a readme file that will explain you how to do it now we need this because it will basically check for your sessions every night and update all of your personal best and like the suggested weights for the exercises so this automated part if you don't want it i get it it's not really needed but it's a it's a nice benefit and it's not that hard to set it up and if you get stuck there's always comments in down there's also a discord channel so you can join and ask me oh I'll, I'll be there for you okay i'll be there for you and um i also made a notion portfolio tracker which was more complex than this it actually like got the prices from the internet current like every hour it's more complex than this one so if you're interested to in tracking your like investments and stuff like your portfolio go check that out too and this like uh, this small section of like catching the server was actually i yoink it from there because you know once you did something you don't want to do it again <laughs> but yeah <laughs> now that you have an idea of how to set it up let's go over the page so you can see how to actually use the notion page too so in here you can see the sessions table uh, so basically when you go to gym you, you need to create a session so i i call it a session basically so for example recently i went running so i will create the session of running around uh, you have to set the date that's important you have this is not a must but yeah set where it is and what was the focus these are all not a must but yeah and of course the emoji because you gotta have an emoji and of course we need a running running dude emoji to be honest normally i don't really care about this emoji but yeah okay then we go to the exercises table uh, in this exercises table we basically insert whatever i did in that session so i did a low tempo running uh, so let's enter that and then as you can see we now we must choose the session so this is a relation so after creating the session you can connect it to this exercise uh, 
again running around and then we select the move now this there's also a move table that we can choose from or or if it doesn't exist yet we can create but yeah uh, this is basically low tempo running and then repetition and wait for actually running it doesn't make sense but one and wait is time so yeah for some of the moves obviously there is not really a wait so for those ones you put the time for if you if you give seconds it's like sec if you give minutes it's min and if you give hours it's har hr so i also run fast so let's go to the moves table and create a new one for running high tempo high tempo running and as you can see in this table you you guys can see the a level there level is something really important it give, it's basically a multiplier for how hard the exercise is so if you think the exercise is hard i think you should give it a high level but for me four is the max and one is the minimum so yeah uh, so let's give the level the high tempo running is two i think and personal best and suggesting bringing those will be automatically filled so you don't need to do anything else in here so since now we have the new move there we can create an another exercise for the session uh, these names usually doesn't matter but yeah i run for one hour high tempo i would say so yeah again we must choose the session session for the exercise and then we we choose the move basically which which is the one we just created so yeah i just want to show for like for weight exercises what you would be doing basically after selecting the session and move again so let's say we did i don't know bicep curls yeah sure so how many reps i did 12 what was the weight i did 24 kilograms but you don't enter kilograms so the default is kilograms so 12 24 and you can do this up to seven reps and seven weights but obviously you can add more eight ninth and the the code i wrote is also flexible enough that it will understand like it will register and it, it, it will be fine basically and yeah i basically do this while I'm working out, logging everything, and it, it helps a lot. The, this part is score, but yeah, it's not so important. Yeah, I didn't do it, so I'll just delete this. So this is one day later, okay? Since it, all, it only updates like the workouts once every, like at night, only at night. And in, as you can see, running around, so we can see the calculated tick. So if you think there's something wrong, you can uncheck this. And the next night, like the next time it updates, it will see the uncheck and recalculate everything. Okay, so this is something useful. This is basically just to rerun the thing. So we get a score, as you can see. And if we go to exercises, yeah, uh, we also get a score in the exercises too. So this, this, yeah. Now you might ask, how is the score calculated? Like what the hell? It basically like uh, multiplies with the level of the exercise, with how much you did and with the repetitions, okay? So for hours, for these ones, one hour basically mean like it converts that to seconds and then it calculates, okay? Just a small detail. Uh, yeah, and as you can see, if you go to the newly added exercise, high tempo running, which we added new, now it says our personal best is 3,600 seconds. It doesn't say seconds because like there are some exercises kilogram so like it's just a way for you to look and check like oh okay this is it so that's if you don't know that's basically one hour get better <laughs> so feel free to copy my page and like use it as you please if you don't want to set up the automated updating yeah understandable so to be honest i didn't use the automated updating like i added the automated updating recently before that i wasn't using it but i had free time to code it and it was nice so i added it and if you like feel free to change anything and as i said feel free to hit me up if you have any problems with notion setup even maybe i can set up to to who, who knows maybe i'll help you please subscribe and like otherwise i'll beat you up okay no no i won't beat you up but it will make my day seriously so thank you for that and gaming out